What's up guys, as we all love launch pads, I would like to do another pre-sale review that's going to launch on a launch pad that I love, which is Cedify. Let's take a look at Gogito today. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm Dutch, so I cannot pronounce anything uh, in the first place, so it doesn't matter. But this project seems pretty interesting to me uh, compared to the rest of what Cedify was launching lately. This is one that's uh, pretty much standing out. So I would like to go over Team, tokenomics, where are they going to launch, uh, what platforms, what's the initial market cap, etc. To find out is it worth it to participate in this pre-sale or not. Now, I must say that basically every pre-sale with Cedify is worth it to invest in since they have a very good refund policy. But uh, yeah, you want to know about the project, of course. Now, Orbify is one that we lately discussed. They are going to launch the 29th, I think, but I will get my cheat sheet uh, here as well. Um, because they were saying that they are going to launch on three tier one CEXs. Now they are going to launch on yeah 29th, so that's coming Monday. So keep your eyes on that. Um, they say like uh, they will soon be on uh, tier one centralized exchanges. Now it's KuCoin. That they just announced, but you know a green exchange with a K. What else could it be? Of course, Gate. And this one has yet to be revealed, but I will be surprised if this is not Maxi. Um, yeah, again, like, like these projects have a very interesting take on what a tier one exchange is actually, uh, but I like KuCoin uh, at least. So that's pretty good. I mean, 3C access at lunch is a good start. It's definitely, I'm not gonna complain about that though. So uh, that's nice to see, but this one is about Cogito. So Gogito is an AI driven stable asset packed to non financial uh, indices sorry <laughs> powered by singularity net okay so that's a really good thing so let's take a look i always take a look like okay who are they followed by well cdefy uh hypercycle uh, another project released by cdefy so not a lot of big eyes on them though uh, i was like to take a look like okay just simple research right i'm gonna take you to my research process in this video basically as well you know how much followers do they have Forty-one thousand. cool if they tweet something, what's the interaction that they get? Mm, one response, three retweets. Okay, well, it's quite new a tweet. So let's take a look at something of yesterday. Um, one response, seven retweets. So either the followers are fake or people lost their interest somewhere. They don't exist on Twitter for a long time. So I don't know if many people lost their interest. Um, but yeah, if I take a look at what they tweet and the interaction that they get, I feel like, okay, what, what are these other 40,000 followers doing then exactly? Like these are always, it's not a red flag necessarily, but it's, it's, it's like, like I GTA 6, goddamn. It's like, I don't know. Um, it's, it's, ugh, I don't, I don't like it, but, um, that's, that's the first thing. Yeah. I gotta be honest about everything. Of course, luckily I don't get paid by these projects so I can say anything I want. <laughs> so we saw the Twitter. Now, of course I would like to jump in their telegram as well in a second. Um, not part of it yet. So I'm going to join that. Let me already do that by the way, because I just want to know like, okay, maybe there is the, the hype is going on on their telegram. So let's take a look. It's now 26th of May. I'm recording this a little on forehand. And if I'm scrolling, it's now 25. Okay. That's fine. Um, it's early right now. So 24, like. I have a group uh, we with a couple hundred members where more talking is going on than in here. So I do feel like the, the followers that they have on their socials are not uh, all real. Um, so I don't like that. The economics are in here. We'll get back to that in a second because that's most important. But I don't know. You know, a um, the project needs to be good, of course. But we all have seen that a project also needs hype. And if you have a combination of those two, like for example, chain GPT has, then you blow up, right? Well, the hype is certainly not here with this project that I can already tell you. There's definitely no hype going on whatsoever. Um, they really need to work on that. Uh, really, but maybe they make it up with some good listings, with some good tokenomics, with some good products. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So go Gito, a decentralized and AI driven stable asset. Crypto needs a truly decentralized and stable payment method. Gogito fulfills the mission 
with, uh, with its stablecoin as a service framework. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, let's take a look. So they offer a stablecoin as a service framework to create digital assets with low volatility called tracer coins. Um, okay. Hey, like, I, I think that we need this, definitely. Um, and if they make it AI driven, then it could be done very easy or easy, at least, you know, easier. So that's quite good. I don't know if this project that gets the hype started, uh, actually, but how does it work? Index creation. Uh, well, this is all the technical stuff. Read it if you're interested in that. Um, I just want to know their take on the market and like how they are going to uh, get the name out there, really, because, yeah, I'm gonna lie if I say that I'm in for the money and not, uh, or for the tech and not for the money. I, I honestly, there are some projects out there that I feel like, whoa, I love what you do. Uh, like Delysium, for example. I love that. Uh, right. But with this, I feel like, yeah, okay, nice. If it works, then, then good for you, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, yeah, they, they made it very technical on the website, uh, of course, and very much into the project itself, um, which is, of course, very important. I'd rather have them focus too much on the project and slightly too little on the hype than the other way around. And again, um, they seem to forget about the hype and that's also not really what we want. Um, they work with HyperCycle, by the way, so that's nice. They're also um, uh, powered by uh, SingularityNet and you know we all know Ajax, uh, the CEO is in their project as well. So yeah i think that uh, the whole singularity net ecosystem is just expanding with these kind of projects and that's kind of what we need uh, definitely um so the roadmap the integration uh, ecosystem extended portfolio more tracer coins risk weighted reserve okay multi-chain presence and use case outside of crypto look and that's what i mean it's what I said in one of my other videos as well. If we want the mainstream to adopt crypto, then crypto also needs to adopt the mainstream, right? Um, we can go in our, be always in our little crypto space, uh, but if they think outside of crypto, then, then it's a lot easier for the outstanders to, to be in crypto as well. So we have the uh, CEO, Flores, uh, Cloris. Cloris combines a banking background with DeFi and entrepreneurship. She spent six years at HSBC and serves as treasury director for a unicorn startup. She is currently a uh, master degree in Pennsylvania. Okay, that, that's cool. But I, I would like to know some more about where, where did you... Oh, too bad. Where did you work? What's your actual experience in, in crypto, right? What do you have some like, ah, look like here, Tony who previously served as a tech lead at Meta, aka Facebook. Um, look, that's, that's the kind of stuff we want. Oh, and Benny. Okay. Now it's starting to get interesting because Ben Gurzel, I think he's uh, from Germany from his name. Um, but he's also in the hypercycle team. Hypercycle, uh, did not very well at lunch, um, but they did okay, right? They did okay. Let me, I can show you. Uh, it started at 10 cents, right? And they shot up to uh, whew, 60 cents. They came back down to 27, but they stabilized right now, right? Although this was, you know, initially quite high cap. So, so far this project is holding up pretty decent, right? And um they, they know what they do they know what they do so that's what i that's what i like and he's also in this team and he is the founder or the ceo of singularity net ajax right so it's good to see him in this team though so the team makes me a lot more bullish and hypercycle as well no hype why do you call yourself hypercycle <laughs> like these are the kind of projects that i i also think that they don't try to go for the for the hype they they don't care about that they care about the product um so no marketing no community building they might do that intentionally so they get get it out 
and get the early birds in and then just work on the project. And in the bull run, these might be these projects that nobody ever heard of and then all of a sudden 100 X's, just like Singularity Net basically did, and all of a sudden everybody's talking about it. This could be such a project together with HyperCycle. That, that's kind of my, my view on it. So they work with Singularity Net, Singularity DAO. Singularity DAO is some kind of an incubator. Uh, I know some people there, pretty cool. Um, what they do, they have another very interesting project coming out, by the way, uh, which I might discuss uh, soon. Um, and I think, uh, but that's not like confirmed or anything, but I heard I heard some stuff about c might releasing that project. Um, but I'm not name dropping that, but that looked very interesting uh, to me. So, okay, cool. So far, pretty fine. Uh, we saw that. I want to know about the tokenomics. So we saw a little bit, of course, already on their, on their uh, Telegram. We'll get back to that, but there must be more right here. So let's see where we can find that. Uh, origins design. Where do you have anything when it comes to tokenomics though? Okay, that's weird. I know that you don't really care about the whole tokenized side of the project probably, but you must have something in your white paper, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Now, well, then this is all that we can go off. Uh, too bad. So, let me... Oh, fuck that. Okay, so, the, the seed round gets in for two cents. All right, that's 4% of total. They have quite some tokens. The lunch pads, they get in at 40 cents. They have less tokens. So I want to know about the vesting because total raise at TGE, $3.2 million. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to know about the vesting schedule. Vesting, um, let, me, let me take a look. Same vesting schedule. They have it here. Why, where is this coming from? Why don't they have this in, in the white paper? Well, seed round at TGE 5%. Um, okay. Six months cliff though and 18 months line here. So they, they, their tokens are going very slow. Um, for us, it's the public round, right? We get 15% at TGE. And then a three months cliff with 18 months line here as well. What? It, it, that's really long. It's really long. So what you really hope for is for this 15% to do like a 6x. What do you need to get to 100? I'm stupid right now. <laughs> you want to get your initial out of this, right? Because this could go very well. But you like... This is a long-term investment, right? You at least want to take your initial back. That's what you want. Because... Um, I don't know what date they are going to list exactly, but it's uh, month number one, then another three months of nothing, so that's four, and then 18 months, right? So that's 22 months. So that's a year and 10 months from now, which will put us at uh, May... Uh, uh, March, <laughs> sorry, 2025, uh, when you have all the tokens vested. Should be in the middle of a bull run, though. So, might be good, might be good. Mm, but, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really long, it's really long. Then the team gets nothing, 12 months cliff, and then over 24 months. So, we will barely notice anything of team tokens getting dumped or so. Um, strategic partners, same um, ecosystem development, we really won't notice anything. KOLs will, yeah, have the same, same as us, same, um, but they get less supply. So yeah, that, that's not that bad. Um, so yeah, okay, okay, okay. We are not really uh, in, in, in a, uh, you know, it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. Then, initial market cap so what's the initial market cap going to be on this shit because i don't like where why why don't you have the initial market cap in the first place um okay that's weird let me take a look what is this 3d nft go yeah what the fuck is this what is this 
This is something completely different. Hmm. So nobody wants to know what the initial market cap is going to be. I, I don't like this kind of stuff where they are so where it is so you want you're going into a sale you you want you are raising funds by getting investors out there right then why don't make it pretty clear for your investors what to expect I don't it seems professional <laughs> oh Gito maybe it's found right here okay we can find it right here so um, they're gonna release on pools see the fine engine starter and is there any information okay tge at market cap 1 million so quite high right a lot of projects they start with well two three four five hundred thousand but this might include liquidity by the way fully diluted 40 million all right so that kind of sucks of course that they always have like a 40x token vesting um, because by the time we get all our tokens uh, there are a lot more on the market of course and uh, it's way harder for, harder for us to make some gains with it so i don't really know about this um, mm -mm -mm. yeah they're gonna raise most of course on cdfi pools finance racing a lot for this one though and engine starter is yeah doing engine started st uh, stuff <laughs> there is a lot less but still it always gets sold out no matter what so yeah that's uh, that's basically all there is to it uh, for this video i don't want to make it too long my take on it is it might be a long-term hold um i hope we get the initial investment out for sure it is very smear with this information uh, but it could be the one that be a big surpriser in the bull run. That's kind of my wrap up for it. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification. Tomorrow it's Sunday and that's small cap Sunday. So we will discuss some small cap altcoins by then. See you then.